In the last two lectures, we have seen what are static LTI systems and how to find if the given LTI system is static or dynamic. Now in this lecture, we will understand what are causal LTI systems and we will also try to obtain one important result using which we can easily find out if the given LTI system is causal or non-causal. Here we are dealing with a system having the properties of three types of systems. The first one is causal system, the second one is linear system and the third one is time invariant system. Whenever the impulse response or transfer function is given, we already know the given system is linear time invariant system because impulse response and transfer function are only defined for LTI systems. So whenever impulse response or transfer function is given, we only have to focus on the causal characteristics of the given LTI system. So let's try to find out the compulsory and sufficient condition to prove the given LTI system is causal in nature. Let's consider an LTI system having the impulse response HT and we are interested in finding out the output of this LTI system for a particular input XT. So XT is the input, HT is the impulse response and let's say YT is the output. And we already know the output yt can be easily calculated by operation known as convolution. We can convolute xt and ht to get the output yt. So yt is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity h tau where tau is the dummy variable multiplied to xt minus tau d tau. Now the important discussion begins we have to focus on the causal characteristics of the system. We already know the causal systems are those systems in which the output is independent of the future values of input. It may depend on the past or present values of input, but it should not depend on the future values of input at any instant of time. So I assume our system is a causal LTI system. This is already an LTI system because impulse response is there and I'm assuming it is causal in nature. This means the output yt is independent in the pendant of the future, the future values of input. This is the meaning of causal system. Now focus on the equation here yt is the output and xt minus tau is the input term and to make it future value we need to have some condition on the dummy variable tau when tau is less than zero or it is negative xt minus tau will become the future value of input this will become the future value of input to understand this, let's take one example. I will consider tau as minus 1, which is less than 0, and you can see it is negative. Now when this happens, the output depends on x t minus minus 1, or we can write the output y t depends on x t plus 1. Now let's say t is equal to 0. For this output will be y0 which is the present output and it will depend on x0 plus 1. This means x1. Now with respect to t equal to 0, 1 is the future instant of time. Therefore, x1 is the future value of input. So the present output is depending on the future value of input. And as I've already told you, our system is causal in nature. This output will be zero. Now this point is very important and you have to understand this. We have already defined our system to be causal system. And in case of causal systems, the output is independent of the future values of input. So here, the future value is there. X of one is the future value of input. And for this, our output, which is Y zero, is equal to zero because it is independent of the future values of input. And the same thing will happen 
whenever tau is less than 0. Whenever tau is less than 0, xt minus tau will become the future value and for that our output yt will become 0. Now you can see yt is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity product of h tau and xt minus tau. We are assuming xt minus tau something so definitely it is not equal to 0. So to make yt equal to 0 h tau must be 0 h tau must be 0 to make yt equal to 0 as xt minus tau is not equal to 0. So this is one important conclusion to find out if the given LTI system is causal or not. So we have one condition written here tau should be less than 0 and the other condition along with this is h tau should be 0. I will write it alongside tau less than 0 Whenever tau is less than 0, the impulse response should be equal to 0. So finally we have the compulsory and sufficient condition to prove the given system is causal in nature. We know tau is the dummy variable so definitely we can replace it by t. So finally we have ht which is the impulse response of the given LTI system equal to 0 when t is less than 0. So we will follow this condition to prove the given LTI system is causal in nature and if this condition is not satisfied then the given LTI system is non-causal. Let's take one example to understand this. In this example the impulse response is given ht is equal to ut it is equal to the unit step function so you can plot the waveform easily we know when t is less than 0 ht will be equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 and when it is greater than 0 the value of ht will become unity that is 1 so you can check this condition when t is less than 0 you can see ht is equal to 0 so this condition is satisfied and we can say that the given LTI system is causal in nature so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section remember this important condition we will use it in the next lecture also